I saw this floating around PFF Lions, and we put it out on Crunch Time at official CT Pod right there above us. Shout out on X. Yeah, give us a follow. Yeah, give Let's us a follow. Go. Give the the boys are grinding on on Twitter, so so go ahead and show some love. But I saw this, guys. Like, what? what do, oh, Lucas, I've got you, an answer, and I, and I don't know on. if it's going to be liked around here. I well, I you know what? Let me let me get this out of the way, Booner, because I think I, you might think I'm going one way. I I I think I'm going the other way. So he, this is what I think about we this. Might when be I saw opposite this, all of a sudden. Well, when I saw this graphic, okay, when I saw this graphic. And I looked at it, you know, I thought, okay, like Khalil Mack, he could definitely help. But then I really thought, I thought about the Chargers situation and how much they're over the cap. Khalil Mack is most likely going to be cut because yep. of cap casualty. So why on earth would, would you trade an ass, a fourth round pick for somebody that's going to be cut and be, in, in be a cap casualty? And then, I don't know, you can keep the fourth rounder and sign him, and then he can come here and go haunt the Chicago Bears twice this season and get his revenge. Like, I like that. I don't mind. If you ask me, Jeff, would you want to bring him back? Yeah, I don't mind it, but I'm not trading for him. And, and Jeff, you were spot on. I know you guys sent this in the group earlier today, and I first thing I text, all I said was please. I'm with you on that, though. It's If you go look at it, I text please, and then I went real, right when I sent that text, I went and looked at his contract. And if you trade for a fourth-round pick, guess when his cap hit is this next year in 2024? Like $37 million. $37 million. No wonder they're going to cut him. Last year, it was $16 million. The year before, it was eight. Before, it was 14 26 Like This year is his highest of his. And obviously, you might be able to restructure and move things around, but no, not even 37, 38. So that's the cap hit as of right now. If you just traded him and got him, unless you restructured or maybe the, the Chargers pay a percentage of, I don't know how all that works. I'm not a GM. But that cap hit, when you just look at it, that's it's not worth it. It is not worth it. And I know it's only for one year, and you do have the money to where, yes, you're going to extend guys, you're going to bring free, free agents in, and you don't have to worry about it after this year. And it's not like one of those long-term things that we talked about yesterday to where I was like, maybe you can get a Daniel Hunter for two years instead of four. Like, that's a one-year deal. I know it's 38, but, like, you, it's gone after that. I just don't. I'm with you. Like, they're going to cut guys, and they've already said, I'm pretty sure Harbaugh wants to keep Eckler, um, and, and they're probably going to try and keep a Keenan Allen. I, I don't see them staying with Khalil Mack at $38 million. I don't see it. Well, and and that's, like, the highest one almost on the team. That's a guy you cut, and then you 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 go pick him up. Real and quick, I, I think he would want to come to Detroit, too. I don't think it's a, a thing where he's like, no, I don't want to do it. Well, Booner, you know what? Great segue, because I'm going to read this comment, and then I want Lucas to get share his thoughts on it, because I want to clear this up. He says, uh, Dark Flame, shout out to you, by the way. He says, because then you'd have to bid against other teams and drive his salary up, his cap hit if traded is max, is a max of $23.4 million for the receiving team. And just to kind of speak on, like, the competing with other teams for him, like, guys, like, I know this is hard for some uh, to kind of compute. You're one of those teams. Like, yeah. You, you, it's not like please like the Pistons are going to be doing this for a, a long time. Please come here. Please come join our football team or our basketball team. We'll pay you anything you'd like. Come join our basketball or football team. In this scenario, we're using the line. So football team, you just be like, Hey, you want to compete for a Super Bowl? Here's a contract. If not cool. Nah. <laughs> See you later. Like that's how you handle yeah. it. Uh, Honestly, there is no competing for other teams. Like it's, we're the Lions. We're one of the best in the NFC. You want to play with us and play the, your old team that, that traded you away twice a year, and you get to play with some good football players? If not, sayonara. See you later. It's that simple. Yeah, I mean, there's not much for me to say. I, I was going to... <laughs> like, it smells like a trap, because if you sign Khalil Mack or you trade for Khalil Mack, you're just getting in cap hell for one season. You want to talk about spending money where you can't sign a corner or you can't sign the interior defensive end. You're just relying on the draft. That would be a move. But to your guys' point, if you were to hit waivers, bring them home. Bring them home. But that contract, you got to negotiate that down. Because Khalil, as a great player as he's been, in my opinion, he's a Hall of Fame talent. I don't know if he's going to get in there, but he definitely will have a case for it. He's not the same Khalil. Can he produce at a high level still? I think yes, but not consistently. And if you're going to invest big money, you go and you get a guy that can do it consistently. So love yeah. Khalil Mack on a cheaper, cheaper deal, but not for that. No way. 
And and I do think like I I try to I say this all the time, and you're probably going to hear this a lot in the off season. I do trust Brad. Like I know Brad's not going to go out there and make a dumb trade, and if he does somehow make that trade, um, it's because he knows what he's doing with the cap, and he has a, he has kind of a grasp on on what he has, and if he can restructure or, um, you know what he has available and what he wants to do. So if he does somehow make that trade and it pops up on our oh. phones, I wouldn't be like, oh, I would just be like, okay, here we go. Like Brad has a plan. Gentry, what's up, baby? Gentlemen, how are we doing? Hey, look beautiful, you look beautiful today, as ever you. today. What was that? Said you look Jeff. beautiful as ever. Oh, thank you, Jeff. What are you wearing? What are you, well, I, you I just got from? I just got back from dinner, so I you know I, I ah, oh, fancy dinner. Okay. No, I just <laughs> I just Fair sat enough. down. And I said let's ro- let's rock. You know, I didn't have time to you know change. Yeah. No, I feel you. No, I was kind of <laughs> listening rock. to what you guys you guys were saying though. I if you're gonna go out and first he is going to get cut and if you're going to go out and spend big money on that like a player like him he really hasn't been that consistent over the last three four years so i would go out and get a guy like daniel hunter before i you know sign a guy like cleo mack but yeah that's i'm definitely not trading for him when he's getting cut he is 110 percent getting cut i did thought you he guys was see, last year i did too i mean he had i uh, just that i mean there, I, I, think, I mean i think if, if the charger would keep joey right Oh, I, I was just about to say they might, they don't have to, but they might cut both of them, especially because Joey Bosa is coming off an injury. And it sounds terrible to say, but he's getting paid so much money. And now with Jim Harbaugh, he's going to want to start doing his own thing. So they might just try to clear that cap as much as they can so Jim can do his thing and cook. I think there is going to be a side too, to where they Jim's going to be like, I want to win. Like I did see he wants to keep Eckler. Like I think there's going. To I don't be a side. get that, man. I don't understand. I just that. think he wants to win now. Like I don't think that. Like I get like I get Jim. That. I just don't think he wants to like let's cut every good player and move on. Like I so the report I saw no. says he wants to keep some of these good players. Um, and Eckler was one of the ones that he likes. And, and I think he just likes kind of having a running back, like like having a dude. That's how I feel. Well, that, that's why point. I'm surprised because Eckler's, I feel like, is not his type of running back. But I'm not saying he doesn't want to win now because you can cut two or three players off that team and they still have studs everywhere, yeah. especially on the defense. So I think they'll be fine. They just they have to clear that cap up a little bit. It's going to take cutting a guy or two, regardless if it's Bosa or not. I think he's definitely on that list of possible cut candidates. Mm-hmm.